Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. Make sure you like and subscribe. For my continuing subscribers, thank you for uh, being loyal to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Today we are looking at a 18 volt lithium ion, catalog number 58389, uh, 3 8 cordless drill, uh, variable speed drill for general use, 20 Clutch settings, 1.3 AH battery, has a lead light for clear view. Uh, it's lightweight at 2.6 pounds, compact design, has the standalone charger, and uh, this is a Harbor Freight brand, so it's a lower tier. Uh, you guys also have the, uh, the uh, check it, uh, check, uh, battery flow um, you guys also have the I'm gonna go close up and we're gonna show you what we're gonna test with this unit uh, just to see if it'll uh, do it we're gonna be making sure that it'll go through we're gonna switch over and what you see in the truck right here in the 3 8 chuck is a Craftsman uh, by metal 1.1 and 3 quarters 44 millimeter hole saw uh, we will be testing it out with this drill. Uh, if I go closer, you guys can see the teeth are all intact, as you can see right here. We're also going to be swinging over and taking a look at the drill as well. It's kind of compact. It's a nice unit by Warrior, as you can see right there. It's a 1.3 uh, AH, 18 volts, as you can see if I go closer right here. You guys are going to see the tab right there to uh, take out the uh, battery as well. As you can see, everything is in orange over here with uh, the black. The orange stands out as the Warrior brand. You guys are also going to see that it's got the uh, four screws like uh, the, uh, the, the Cobalt or the Dualt. And we go closer down here and we see that it's got the plastic chuck. Although it looks like it would stand a great deal. As you can see, we go closer down here, and if I hit the uh, hit the uh, unit over here, you guys are going to see the LED light. As you go back over here, if we go back here, you guys are going to see the vents in the back, and you also can see the uh, design around. You guys are going to see also the uh, model number over here. Now keep in mind that this uh, you have to keep the serial number in hand also and the UPC as this does not have a QR code. As you can see it's got all the uh, specs right here in plain view. We are going to go zoom out right now and we're going to see this thing in action. Let's see if it will hold up to its uh, par. As you can see, it took a little bit uh, longer as it is a low profile drill as compared to the other drills. But as you saw, we went uh, in and out a few times, but that's because we didn't want to kill the uh, hole saw. But it did its job. We're going to go closer in to the uh, hole that we did right here. It's pretty much clear, as you can see right here, if we go to the other side. You guys always know that you should file the other side as well, as you can see right here. Although it was a lower tier and we had to uh, use it a little bit longer, it uh, did its job. And we're going to take a look uh, right now. I'm going to show you guys the uh, Rockwell Jaw Horse that we had going, uh, that we were using. It's very portable around the job site or in the uh, garage or in the wood shop. Uh, so uh, we're going to go back and take a look at the drill right now. 
you guys are going to see that all the uh, teeth are intact. Uh, we used it on the wood, and you can see that they're all intact. Even the drill is uh, pretty much uh, sharp as well. You guys can see the uh, the uh, hole saw and the and the hole that it did all the way through. This is the remnant of the hole. As you can see, it's pretty much smooth. And also, you could see that the uh, drill went straight into it before it was cutting the edges. Uh, I hope this uh, gave you guys an insight of the Craftsman 1 and 3 quarters, 14 millimeter hole saw. So I hope you guys like and subscribe and make sure you view my other videos.